This is Cameron Chai from azonano.com and I'm speaking to Joe Maguire, the sales manager for Park Systems, and he's going to tell us about the XE70 Research AFM. Good morning and thank you for uh, the MRS opportunity, the Materials Research Science Society in uh, Boston, Massachusetts. It's December 2nd, 2008. The XE70 is an instrument that's used by academics, by people in the research community to measure and inspect their parts at the atomic level. It is a, an instrument that has the ability to measure things with higher, finer resolution than you can achieve with standard microscopy. This instrument has the ability to resolve down to tens of nanometers of resolution. If you see the screen to my right, you can see an image that's being created. The image itself is being created by a tip that resides on the base, on the back side of this cantilever, which itself is very small. The tip size is on the order of 5 to 20 nanometer, very, very tiny. And what that allows us to do is get into features that are very small. On a semiconductor device, that could be a trench inside of a 22 nanometer node DRAM, SRAM device, and it's important for the manufacturer to be able to control at that finite scale, thousands of times smaller than the hair on your head, those features and how they're created. So what we do is we take the, the specimen and we can locate it on an XC70 platform, something relatively small, say two by two inches in size, and we can image every aspect of what's on that sample. By moving the Z-head, which is a separate scanner mechanism on our system, we're able to give you a flat, non-bowed, true caricature of topology as well as surface condition inside of that, that item that you're trying to understand. In this case, you're looking at something that has a repeat pattern. You can begin to make out some of the high resolution that's achieved with this tip. The tip does not come into finite contact with the material. It's proximate, resides several nanometers off of the surface, and allows you, again, to get true resolution, true dimensional data. If I, if I had to tell you what that length scale was, I could measure that. I could mark that, I could measure that, and tell you, am I staying within the specification required for that manufacturing requirement? The XE70 has many in the family that graduate and increase in size and capability. This instrument can take and do anything in the microscopy field from, from imaging, from looking at lateral condition, magnetic, electrical condition. We can take and scale up the instrument. We can pass a beam through, we can be transmissive, we can be reflective, we can look through a material. We can also take and, and look at the electrical attribute by incorporating a different material on the end of our tip. And that so somewhat summarizes what you're looking at with atomic force microscopy. Keep in mind again that you can get the truest of images by tr doing true non-contact, again the tip not in intimate contact, not blunting the tip, but staying very proximate to the surface you're trying to inspect. Okay, Joe, thanks very much for telling us about the XE70. You're welcome.